So this is where I spend probably 20 hours of my day. Okay. Um, painting, working, drawing. story about a girl who's searching for her dreams of the future. And so she's on this cat boat and there's going to be all kinds of little characters. And then this guy in the background, he's, he's the butterfly maker. And so he's going to have all these butterflies coming out of his hand and they're going to be swirling around in the sky. And that's kind of what's catching her attention, it's the color. Because I want it to have lots of very muted grays and tones of gray. And so the only color in the picture is going to be the butterflies. Like with my work, the palette is always very, very important. It's like its own entity. So. This will probably take me a month because it's not very big. Um, I usually work on a couple things at once. Like this is one that I started a, a really long time ago and because it's been so long, I don't know if I can get back into it. I'm not really feeling the same energy from it. Um, but here's another, like this is one that I'm starting. And so that's kind of like my sketch process. Uh, it's taken me a week just to get there. <laughs> I didn't go to art school, I went to community college, and so, you know, I spent a lot of my time in just um, regular courses, and the art department, for me, it, it, it didn't help. It kind of made me say, mm, I'm just going to, I'm going to move away, I'm going to do this on my own, figure it out, and just kind of explore my options. I enjoy painting every day, I don't know if you notice, but every show I produce, there's subtle changes, or maybe even an evolution that you see the growth in the work. And so it's been a very, very long, arduous, you know, sort of path that I've been leading. And I know that, you know, I may have come onto this scene in the early 2000s, but I've been painting for a really long time and just, I paint because I'm a painter. I paint because I love to paint because it's part of my nature.